The People's Republic of China, or PRC, is set to celebrate its 75th founding anniversary on October 1st, as the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, aims to celebrate its status as one of the world's great nations. The CCP has been promoting nationalism, which is anti-ethical to communist ideology, within the population to set the Chinese people apart from other nations and encourage them to act as a group, prioritizing national interest over individual self-interest. This approach is not unique to China, as Joseph Stalin used nationalism and patriotism to rally Soviet soldiers to make sacrifices in the name of Mother Russia during World War II and ignore the suffering caused by communism and the excesses of Stalin's leadership. The CCP has also manipulated the emotions of its citizens by reminding them of the 918 anniversary, also known as the Manchurian Incident, a Japanese plot to implicate the Chinese government and use it as a pretext for their invasion of Manchuria in 1931. This led to government-endorsed demonstrations against Japan and China, leading to the stabbing death of a 10-year-old Japanese boy and his Chinese bus driver in Shenzhen. The CCP is aware of the delicate state of their society, which nationalist sentiments alone cannot adequately address. The Chinese people are facing demographic headwinds from an aging and shrinking population, increasing unemployment, national and local debt, a housing bubble, deflation, potential sanctions from the West over China's support of Russia in the Ukraine war, and one of the slowest GDP forecasts in decades. To address these economic headwinds, the Chinese government announced a major stimulus package to reduce interest rates, lower bank reserve requirements, and lower existing mortgage interest rates. The policy decision aims to boost the economy, counteract deflation, and reduce youth unemployment. Despite the success of the CCP's achievements, the paradox lies in the more assertive it becomes abroad, the more forceful its international opponents react, typically with an economic response, which worsens the existing headwinds. Addressing economic conditions is crucial to sustain support for the CCP, because even a totalitarian state needs to maintain a stable and productive society, which cannot be completely based on fear.